I wrote a whole book called How Medicaid Fails the Poor that goes through all the data of how the Medicaid program fails to achieve health outcomes that are better than those for people who have no insurance at all. And I think that's one of the things that you hear the left say all the time, well, we have to expand Medicaid because there are all these people who are going to die if they don't get Medicaid. Well, there is no evidence, zero evidence, to suggest that Medicaid will actually save lives. What it does do is spend a lot of taxpayer money on a program that doesn't work for the people it's intended to benefit. So what if we could do instead is, again, take the money that we spend on Medicaid and instead give that to the patients, give that to the enrollees to say, you know what, we're going to give you high deductible health insurance plus a subsidy for a health savings account and use that health savings account to buy a concierge physician, say, or whatever you need to really manage your chronic diseases, your high cholesterol, your high blood pressure. Most Medicaid patients, yeah, okay, it's paid for if they get a stroke or if they have a heart attack or whatever, but getting a doctor to actually see them on a regular basis is impossible because most doctors don't take Medicaid because it doesn't pay very well. But if you give people the money and say, you know what, let me just pay the doc directly for my HSA for my primary care, most doctors take cash because there's no paperwork involved. It's really easy for them. So all of a sudden, these people will not only have access to the care they actually need, but they'll have an economic stake in their own future because they know if they stay healthy and they stay out of the hospital, that money becomes a nest egg that accumulates over time that they can pass around to their kids, pass down to their kids. You know, when I travel the country, sometimes people will ask me, they'll say, Ovik, how can you expect people on Medicaid to have health savings accounts. So, you know, these were people with no education. They've never had a checking account. They've never saved for anything. How can you expect that they would actually be able to save for their own health needs? And I look at them and I say, isn't that what we should be wanting them to do? Shouldn't, be we, we, shouldn't we be wanting them to have checking accounts? Shouldn't we want to teach them how to save? Shouldn't we want them to have that hope that if they stay out of the hospital and stay healthy, they can actually have a better future for themselves instead of being trapped in poverty? It seems to me that's exactly what we want to be doing if we want to actually lift people out of poverty instead of just writing them a check and walking away, which is what we do today with Medicaid.